Hi, it's Rich from Planet PE, and thank you for watching this video. So you may have already watched the video on planes and axes. You may have watched the one just on planes, and this one is just on axes. So if you're new to the channel, um, I'm a PE teacher, I'm a head of PE, and I'm here to try and help you in your GCSE PE exams. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and again, follow us on Instagram and on Twitter, and try and get in the comments so you can try and help you out as best as we can. So, axes. Axes of, of all about rotation. So if I get my speaker here, I can rotate it in lots of different ways. Now with that, it's rotating through an axis. So an axis is a point of rotation. So it's an imaginary line, it's not really going through us, but it is the point that we rotate around. So I'm gonna use my speaker as that example. So I can rotate my body essentially over three different axes. So I can rotate it like this, I can rotate it like this, and I can also kind of rotate it like that. So what we need to understand is what does that mean and how are you gonna use it in your exam? So if you watch the video here, you will see a somersault. So as the uh, performer is gonna perform a somersault, they are spinning essentially end over end, head over feet. Now that sort of rotation is like this. So from here, there is a, a point of rotation in the middle that it's spinning around. So imagine that I put a big knife through here, it would spin like this. Now that axis there is what we call a transverse axis. So imagine that you had a, a table football player, they are getting kebabbed essentially through the middle and they're gonna be spinning around that axis. So that first one is our transverse axis. We could also spin this way. So if I was gonna spin this way, that point of rotation this time is gonna be in the middle and you'll see the volume buttons that are gonna spin around there. So if you watch our uh, video here, you'll see that we've got somebody performing a cartwheel and they are spinning through the point of their belly button, that everything's rotating around that central point. Now that type of um, axis is what we call our sagittal axis. Now if you're doing AQAPE, this is what this is correct. If you're doing LXL, the language might be a bit different, so just be aware. So our sagittal axis goes through our belly button and then we spin around that point. The third axis is through our longest point, so a longitudinal axis. So this one is gonna basically go all the way through and we rotate like this. So think about an ice skater, again, see the video, um, have a look at how they're rotating. They're spinning really, really, really quickly like this. And they're going through their longitudinal axis, okay? So they are spinning like that. Now, if you are sh you're thinking, okay, I've got this, I've got longitudinal axis, okay, I've got the central axis, I've got the transverse axis, brilliant. Okay, what we need to think about next is which plane works with which axis. Now, if you haven't already, Go onto the playlist, have a look at some of my older videos where I've, I've tried to bring things together and it's slightly longer video. So these ones, just quick fire, we've got three different planes. We've got our longitudinal axis, we've got our transverse axis, and we've got our sagittal axis. Simple as that. Again, please make sure you carry on watching the videos every single Thursday, you get new content. Please like, subscribe, and follow us on those social media platforms we said at the start of the video. Good luck, again, if you have any mocks coming up, please put in the comments when they are, and I will get some live sessions out where hopefully we get thousands and thousands of you watching it like I had last year before the main exams. Good luck, and I'll see you soon.